Beneath the surface of our planet, in a realm of searing heat and relentless pressure, the molten iron heart of Earth is churning. Though far from view, this hidden furnace shapes one of the most vital forces in our daily lives, Earth's magnetic field. And now, scientists are reporting a quiet, yet astonishing transformation one that could ripple across the future of global navigation, communications, and even life itself. The magnetic North Pole, once relatively stable, is on the move, and not just inching its way forward. It's shifting faster than ever, sliding steadily away from the Canadian Arctic and drifting closer to Siberia. What's causing this? Why is it speeding up, then slowing down unpredictably? And perhaps most provocatively, could it signal something far more dramatic in the Earth's future? This isn't science fiction, it's happening right now, and the consequences may reach farther than most people realize. To understand what this means, we must first separate two concepts, the geographic North Pole, which remains fixed at the top of the Earth, and the magnetic North Pole, which drifts constantly. This magnetic north is what compasses point to, and it's crucial for navigation from ships at sea to satellites orbiting above. For centuries, magnetic north meandered slowly across the high latitudes, shifting at a gentle pace of around 6 miles per year. But beginning in the 1990s, scientists at the British Geological Survey and NOAA noticed something odd. That slow march had quickened to over 30 miles per year. Suddenly, centuries of predictable behavior were replaced by erratic, almost restless movement. By 2019, the shift was so dramatic that researchers were forced to update the World Magnetic Model the mathematical blueprint used to guide everything from commercial aviation to military operations a full year ahead of schedule. It was an unprecedented moment, one that underscored how essential Earth's magnetism is to modern life. And now, in 2025, while the pace has eased slightly to around 22 miles per year, the direction remains the same. Magnetic North is drifting ever eastward, deep into Siberia. No one knows exactly why. That uncertainty is more than a scientific curiosity. Navigation systems worldwide depend on accurate readings of magnetic north. Commercial aircraft need it to stay on course during transcontinental flights. NATO militaries rely on it for precision operations. Even our smartphones use it to orient maps. A slight change might go unnoticed by the average person, but for engineers, pilots, and strategists, it matters immensely. As Dr. William Brown of the British Geological Survey puts it, a few degrees of drift can throw off aircraft heading calculations across thousands of miles, which is why every five years, the World Magnetic Model is updated to reflect Earth's evolving magnetic personality. The next update is scheduled for 2030 unless the field does something dramatic once again. But the deeper question remains, what's really happening beneath our feet? The answer lies in Earth's Korea-swirling sea of molten iron nearly 1,800 miles beneath the surface. As this ocean of metal flows, it generates electric currents. And those currents, in turn, produce the geomagnetic field that wraps around our planet like an invisible shield, protecting us from harmful solar radiation. But this core is not uniform. It doesn't flow like a calm river. It surges, eddies, and roils like a boiling cauldron. And when the patterns in that cauldron shift, the magnetic field above respond. In rare moments of planetary history, these shifts have gone much farther than a drift. They've reversed. Yes, Earth's magnetic field has flipped entirely, multiple times. The North becomes South, and vice versa. It's a phenomenon known as geomagnetic reversal, and the last major flip happened around 780,000 years ago. Smaller temporary reversals have occurred since, but none is significant. Could it happen again? Eventually, yes, but not overnight. A reversal, scientists believe, would unfold over hundreds or even thousands of years. However, the signs leading up to one might include a weakening of the magnetic field, chaotic pole movements, and regional magnetic anomalism, of which are now being observed. If a full reversal were to occur, the impacts could be profound. Migrating animals like birds, whales, and sea turtles, many of which rely on Earth's magnetism to find their way, could be thrown into disarray. Satellite systems might be more vulnerable to solar storms. Power grids could be strained. Even the auroras might dance across new skies. As Dr. Arno Chilod from NOAA explains, we're seeing the magnetic field behave in ways we can't fully predict. It's a reminder of how much we still have to learn. For now, the movement of magnetic north is being monitored carefully, aided by ever-improving satellite and sensor technology. Scientists believe it will continue its eastward journey toward Russia, but at a slower pace than before. The next few years will be critical for understanding whether this is a prelude to a larger shift or just a momentary phase in a long natural cycle. What does all this mean for the average person? Not much yet. GPS will still get you where you're going. Planes will still land safely. But beneath our feet, in the heart of the planet, the great dynamo spins on, quietly reshaping the map we rely on. And for those who look up at the stars, sail the seas, or guide aircraft across oceans, Earth's wandering magnetic soul remains one of nature's greatest mysteries.